Okay, so I've got a Honeywell uh, central heating uh, programmable unit here. Uh, it's got four. I can hear relays clicking on and, on and off. So it turns out that there is actually, generally speaking, a fault with these. So I'm just going to replace it with another one I bought. Uh, this particular model is, get it, um, is basically one of these, a ST900, sorry, ST9400C programmer, which I've just picked up from um, local DIY place, which is sort of I fix it off screws, as it were. Um, we're doing that. So what happens is you turn it on, it clicks on, clicks off. Um, as you can see, it doesn't do very um, go very well. But these are, seem to be quite easy to replace because they are they've got a back plane which is fixed on. Um, this is the one I've taken off the new one. So essentially, uh, we've got two screws underneath. And there's a little, uh, couple of little catches on the top. Um, oh, forget the new one. So yeah, so as you can see, there's a couple little uh, clips on the back. So what you should be able to do is just undo those. Um, oops, two little screws on the bottom. So which should line up just under here, um, and then um, take take the units off. Uh, I'm not going to show Dave's a bit of the video just because it's, that's probably a bit boring. Uh, obviously, you need to have power to it because uh, mains power going into the back, so you don't want sort of electrocution risk. Um, so, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll have a bit of video with it back on again in a moment. Okay, so I've unscrewed the two screws, obviously, power's off. Um, and so, we've got these two little hooks on here. So, essentially, what we should just need to do is hook our new oops get my way up hook our new unit literally over the top but what I'll do is because I have uh, one hand holding phone camera and the other hand just holding this so rather than just losing <coughs> things of the bottom I'm just going to uh, stop the video and just put it back on uh, just with one hand, or oh, sorry, both hands when I've got them free. Right, let's just take them off for a second. One minor thing I forgot is there's a little cutout here for where the power goes, so you need to break these little tabs away. Should have uh, <laughs> should have done that. I was had a little trouble getting it back on, but yep, yeah, now no, it's just uh, remove all these tabs. So, pair of pliers, and we've removed the tabs. So, basically, it depends whether. Your power's coming underneath. There's another slot about whether it's coming in from the top instead, so it's coming down this way. So make sure you remove the correct tabs. So just correct tabs on the bottom or tabs on the top, depending on the uh, power. So mine's from the bottom. Uh, amazing how easy it slots on. That if you've actually removed the tabs, which I didn't. So yeah. So now that's on. So I've now got the two little screws. One there. There should be another one here, just under here, which I should be able to just uh, screw up. Okay, so done both the screws. So, moment of truth is we shall turn it on and see what happens. And we are on. Uh, so that's a, a good start. So what we should need to do is change the date and time. So... Um, should hopefully Let's set the date. Uh, what's today? Oh, today is the tenth. Oh, actually, that is correct. Oh, okay, so the previous one, I think the battery in it failed a long time ago. So just when that power failed, just lost it. So I should. Let's just turn it down. So we'll see if I actually get things turned on. So let's just do extra hour. Oh, there we go. You can hear the sound of basically everything's come back on. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's actually quite straightforward to replace. Um, I saw a video on it and I was a little bit surprised. 
and that's it we are actually done so be fiddling around user error on that slot do not forget the uh, clips depending where the power comes in whether it's in the top here or whether it's underneath and then yeah that is it we're done so i've now got to have heating and the hot water back which is absolutely brilliant because the shower this morning is really cold 